Boy, and just like that, I have just horribly messed up the Zelda and Randomizer playlists on YouTube. Yeah, we, uh, I have talked about doing this for a little while. Never did. Uh, we've played the three, we're on Twilight Princess, as far as the vanilla games go. So we've played all three... 3D Zeldas prior to that. And I've done lots of randomizers in Ocarina and Majora. But uh, not Wind Waker yet, because this is a this is a big game. This is a lot bigger than uh, the N64 Zeldas, so I've been a little bit hesitant. I've done randomizers of it off-stream. I've gotten pretty crazy. But this is the first streamed one. And I'm doing it solo. So, uh, let's see how long this will take us. This takes us. It's going to take us a while. I'm expecting this to be a pretty long stream. Pretty slow pace. There's going to be a lot of empty space. I make good highlights. Always look forward to that. Alright. In fact, I think that's our previous save file. So, I want to make a new one for the randomizer. Our seed hash is Medley Ivan. Aw. Oh. Alright, I'll have to shorten it. You may, you may have seen him on the uh, title sequence already. Might have spoiled it a little bit. A terrible. Awful tragedy has occurred. Some monsters have flooded Hyrule. So now I'm doing what I have to. I'm on a quest to save it. Me and my boat. Hello, boat. So a uh, Wind Waker randomizer has lots and lots of character models. Some of them with voice clips. Wow, that that was a that was a crusty one. All right, so settings for this. I have it. It's it's pretty heavy. This is not one of the like super crazy ones where uh, it will include every single like rupee item. But. Uh, the things I have disabled are the Savage Labyrinth, so we won't have to do the 50, 100 floors of that. No Tingle Chests. I could do them, but uh, I, I don't want to. I don't want to have to... Because they, they require compasses to know where they are without the Tingle Tuner and everything. Uh, no crazy side quests like the Withered Trees or the Goron Trades. Honestly, the trees is the only one I mind. But uh, I can't disable just the trees. I have to disable all of them in this randomizer. I disabled the mailbox items because I don't understand fully how those work. And I disabled the treasure charts. And any of the rings you have to go uh, spelunking in the sea for, I got rid of. Not because I would necessarily mind doing them. I just, I'm trying to make this at a reasonable length this randomizer run. And to that end, I also started with all eight Triforce pieces, so we just have to find the items that are necessary to uh, get to the end of the game and beat Ganon, which is primarily, I think, the three pearls and the uh, three stages of the Master Sword. Alright, so I should... Now, now comes the time where I have to relearn how to play this game. Alright, up is the map. I am you. Can, I don't have it like on screen because this takes up the whole screen. But I am using a tracker, so I can kind of see what I have available available to me. I'm starting with no sword, nothing, and good play. Also, random starting aisle. We got the uh, Eastern Triangle Island, I think. 
Where's Windfall? There's Windfall. All right, that's where I want to head, because that's where a lot of, like, starting stuff is. Hello, Darian. I like the Black Sail. It's a good mod. I think some of his, like, uh, items are also modified, so I'm looking forward to seeing those. Some of the other skins are uh, Tingle, which Vinny did in his uh, Wind Waker randomized playthrough. And the next one I was considering doing was Grandma. Link's Grandma is a playable model, which is great, but then Achievement Hunter went and used her, so now I don't, I don't want to do that. I believe, by default, I start with... I think I have to start with the warp song. I don't think I can turn that off. Ballad of Gales. Wind Requiem. That's the one that sets the wind. I think Ballad of Gales is the warp song, so I might be able to immediately warp to Windfall. Oh, it's so off putting. Yeah, okay, so I, I start with fast travel. That's not too uncommon. Song of Soaring is traditionally not randomized in the uh, Majora's Mask randomizer. I like to randomize it, but most people don't. They like to just have warping. There's also no way to, uh, you can have a random starting island, but you can't set a specific starting island. Otherwise, I would have set it to Forsaken Fortress. I don't know if that's even one you can get randomly. I believe the bomb shop is open immediately. He doesn't do the thing where he's selling for 10,000 rupees. Not that I have any rupees, but... Okay. He still only sells bombs, though. Maybe that's not randomizable. What's neat about this game, starting with No Sword as compared to the N64 Zeldas, is that there's a lot more variance of what weapons enemies are vulnerable to. So you can, like, uh, you can build up your arsenal of things that you're actually able to kill. If we get a grappling hook, the only thing we'll be able to kill is Keys. Starting strong. Why are there mushrooms growing behind him and only behind him? You ever notice that? I'm not wearing green, strange man. Alright, he wanted you have to like hit a switch or something. I don't have a sword, so I can uh, I can lift these. And it's good at lifting things. No money. I believe this is two items. Because in the game he gives you, what does he give you? A map and the Tingle Tuner. Tingle does look like a very moist man. Alright, piece of heart. And what else? You got another thing? It's a treasure chart. Okay, so though that's useless. Can I check off piece of hearts? I don't know if I can. Not that it's necessary, but I don't know. It'd be nice to keep track of how many I have. Give me money. I need money.
What do I need money for? Uh, all of the auction items will be random. Are there shops that might be useful? I don't remember. There must be shops in this game. I remember there are places where you can, uh... I remember there are places where you can get the, uh... You can bring stuff. There are shops, quote-unquote, where you bring spoils to get items. I don't remember if there are any shops that are just shops. You go in and buy stuff. Do you have to do the treasure charge stuff? Uh, it is optional. I have not included it. I do not have uh, treasure rings or Triforce rings included in the pool, and in fact, I started with all eight Triforce pieces. This randomizer is not as uh, feature heavy as the N64 ones, but it does it does have some stuff that you would want. Oh, all right, item, iron boots. It's not a weapon, but it's an item. I hate that jumping sound, by the way. Like, apparently the sound bites for this are taken from Smash Ganon. I don't recognize that one, though. Now, I'm just following the left wall. I think there's also an area in the center of this. Okay, we're back in the cell. Now I'm going to follow the right wall. Just to be safe. Wait, how'd I go in a circle? Did I miss a, a right turn? I guess I must have. Oh well. Jail, Tingle, first and second gift. And the maze chest. I got that, got the iron boots. Ah, uh, there's the killer bees, which is not fun, but, you know, we can do it, I think. to do this? I think it's included in the pool. We don't have a lot of rupees to spend on battle squid, though. And it could be nothing. Could be just a waste of our time. I'll wait till I have a little more rupee rupees to try battle squid. Otherwise, I'll just have to come back. Uh. Can't do this until we have fire arrows. I can get the windmill moving, but I can't do anything with that. It's gonna be weird when he's face to face with actual Ganondorf. It's gonna be like Child of Ganon. I'm touched by your love for your students. I will help you, teacher lady. Hey, you little shits. Get over here. Yeah. Obviously this is a randomizer, so this is not the stream you watch for the story of Wind Waker. If that weren't immediately obvious, uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, we did a Vanilla Wind Waker series of streams a while, a couple years ago. They're pretty good. Made for good highlights. Go watch the highlights. Ah. 
Is this not one of the most frustrating things in video games? Is having to watch a cutscene of someone running away? Someone who you know you have to chase, and your character just stands there and lets them run away. Forced head start. Look, look at Smug Ganon. He looks like he's got five o'clock shadow. Oh, those annoying girls. Everyone on this island sucks. Almost everyone. He he seems he seems all right. This guy looks nice. Everyone else sucks. Dude, literally dancing on someone's grave. What's the matter with you people? Alright, where's the, where's the alcove where this kid is? Oh, is it right here? No, don't interrupt me with a cutscene. I was gonna roll into him. Ah! I wonder what Ganon's childhood was like. Uh, probably lots of sleepovers and makeovers, and he had lot lots of sisters. Man knows how to braid his hair. I've se I've seen Twilight Princess Dorf. I actually don't immediately remember where the other two are. Oh, wait, one of them is behind that building. One of them in like a pot or something. The Loud House, but with Ganon. If that did exist, it would be this Ganondorf. Majora's Mask, I could, like, shoot them with arrows. Non-lethally, of course. Uh, as you may have noticed, this randomizer starts not at the beginning of the game. It, it, uh, begins at a point where you have the boat basically after Windfall Island and the Forsaken Fortress. So you have, you know, free reign of the world. Hey, check this out. Yes. I gotta talk to him first. Alright, do your thing. Spoils bag. All right, that's good to have. Where is that? Tot, that's where it is. Otherwise, you can... Well, it's not as good as the, uh, the mail bag. Because before you have the bags themselves, you can collect all of the items, but you can't access them. Got one more kid to catch, then I'll go check out the pirate ship. Where is the last one? I got the one in the tree. 
should probably go talk to Lenzo. I don't remember if he has anything. Hello? It was after uh, she already lost her fortune. Tragic. Remember not being keen on the art style of this game. I know people had issue with it when it first came out because America wanted more realistic Zelda. I didn't get this game when it first came out. I, uh... I, I guess I kind of missed that controversy. In fact, I didn't really play any of the, uh... I didn't play a lot of the GameCube era games. My GameCube library was, uh... It was Melee and it was F-Zero. And the Sonic games. That was about it that I remember. Warrior World. No Sunshine. No Wind Waker. None of the Mario Party. I didn't own any of the Mario Parties. I had Mario Kart. Double Dash. I have completely forgotten where this fourth child is. Am I going to have to look it up? a tree or down on the dock or anything, is he? Tell me where your compatriot is. There's nothing down here but this lady. It's not just the art style, it's the way this game is, like, written, the sense of humor and everything. It's very... it's a lot more anime than the N64 ones were. Those were more, like, uh, kind of more global audience. Like, those were just Hyrule. This, this is more the world of Zelda through a, ver a Japanese lens. Alright, I, I I'm gonna have to I'm gonna have to look up the kids. I've never had to do this. I'm having a complete brain fart right now. I don't have to go through any doors or anything, do I? It's not in the windmill or something? the bond behind the, oh I remember now I feel dumb but it's also a dumb place to have to look get over here A lot of the GameCube titles were uh, famously rushed out the door because they did they weren't released with the console and uh, the console didn't do well as amazingly tends to be the case when Nintendo releases a console without like a Mario or Zelda game to go with it so they rushed out Mario Sunshine they rushed out this game to try to get the console to sell more and we just got a lot of uh, a lot of GameCube era games with tons of cut features as a result. Oh oh boy, that was worth it. All right, catch the killer bees. Actually, I get two items for that because I can talk to uh, talk to Miss Mari again. Miss Mary? Miss Mariah Carey. Yes, I did the thing. Give me something good. 
Hey! Well, you know, yeah, that's, I'll take it. That's something. You start with magic in this game. You don't have to unlock it. I guess. Do you have a magic meter from the very first time you, like, boot up Vanilla Wind Waker? I don't remember. Alright, what else have we got? Uh, Maggie has an item. Is this where she's at? Looking for the second floor of the auction house. The fun part of this is going to be when we run out of... Th this... As much annoying stuff as it, as is here. At least it's all in one place. The slow part of the stream is when we're out of windfall stuff and we're just going to have to like going start going all over the Great Sea. Just from one island to the next to the next. Getting like the outposts, the... The, the rafts, the things like that, because those are all in the pool. All right. Now, in Vanilla, this was a letter to a moblin. Now it's a treasure chart. All right. Well, that wasn't useful. Maggie, free item. House of Wealth chest. Is it this? Or is that Lenzo's house? Oh no, it's just right there. How good up? Do I feel like hookshot or like leaf or something? Or did I just have to... I had to jump from the second floor just right and I didn't. Take two. No! Ugh! Ganon with the big jumps. Alright, 50 rupees. Well, that's appropriate for the House of Wealth chest. Maybe we'll have enough to, uh, maybe we'll have enough to do sploosh before we leave Windfall. We do, we probably should do the auctions. There's a few things we can do at night. Let's see, Battle Squid has three things. And if I, if I got a Joy Pendant, which I don't have, I would be able to get an item from Miss Mari. Oh, the Pirate Ship, that's what I gotta do. I'll do a pirate ship, I'll set it to night, and then I'll do some other things here. I think, if I remember correctly, the base wallet in this game is 200, not 99. So even if I get a big rupee, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, like, cut off. Now for everyone's other favorite part of Wind Waker. Rope swinging. Oh, that's right. I don't remember at what point of the game Errol joins the pirates. I think it's after you save her from a Forsaken Fortress. But, uh, yeah, she's just here on the ship. Facilitating the swing game. It takes so long to get swinging. If this were just more fluid. Wouldn't want to have too much fun, though. Mm. 
You gonna move? Or can it not move if you're hanging on it? I don't think it can. I think once I'm on it, it stops going uh, left and right. <sighs> Donkey Kong would be ashamed of Toon Link's rope swinging ability. Alright, here we go. What are you? Bombs? I don't think that's actually useful to me, because I don't I don't have a bomb bag. This randomizer is actually a little bit Oh no, I do. I guess that was the uh the bomb upgrade. This randomizer is a little less sophisticated than the 64 ones in terms of consecutive upgrades. At least, well, I know when it comes to the bombs, and I think, like, the quivers as well. Because I could get the bomb upgrades, the 40 or 50 or whatever they are, before finding just plain old bombs. Like, it's not a sequential chain. And, you know, actually, I think I know why that is the case. It's because of the, uh, because of the arrows. The quivers can't be sequential, like bow, then first upgrade, then second upgrade, because the sequence is bow, fire and ice arrows, light arrows. Arrows are already in a sequence, so they can't be in two sequences. I feel like there's a better way they could work it out, but... That's the reason, in any case. Alright, so what's left? Uh... I have night stuff. I have a dancing mailbox. Letter for Ganon? From Beetle Shop Ship. It's now selling bombs. Alright. Well, I definitely have enough rupees now. So, uh, where's the guy? Should I do the guy, or should I save them for, uh... I am about to do the auctions, too. Up, I'll, I'll do the thing. Let's go sploosh. We gotta do it at some point. This has three items. This has two regular rewards and one for under 20 shots. on the outside, isn't it? Please? Alright. First reward? What do we got? Treasure chart. Alright. Give me another one. Be it. This is the one. Wow. That was some speedrun luck. Orange rupee. And a skull necklace. All right. The rewards were all garbage, but I did it in the minimum possible number of tries I could have done it in. 
All right, max rupees. Let's go. Uh, let's go to the auction. Oh, do I have the night song? I, maybe I don't have the song of passing. Is that what it's called? No, I do. Okay, right, left, down. He looks so angry, doesn't he? Wow, his eyebrows glow in the dark. Spend money. Hello. I'm royalty. I have a great deal of money to spend tonight. Ah. Uh, you know what? Because it'll save us time in the long run. Lind Waker Auction. There's a specific way this works, and it's not too complicated. I believe you only have to raise the stakes by like 10% or something, or like 50%. Yeah, it's 10 is 10% and they'll be stunned for 15 seconds is how it works. We gotta be stingy with our uh, precious 200 rupees. Oh, great. Nope, I'm good. Don't need it. Yep, I'm out. See you tomorrow, maybe. Hey. What you doing? Okay. I left. I'm not here. Is is he going to make the cat sound? Does Ganon have his own sound that he makes? <gasps> Meow. Darn. Did I ruin it for tonight? Yeah, alright. That's fine. Let's try another auction. Let's try following her again. There are, I believe, four auction items. All with different average rupee values. Alright. Attempt number two. Man. Is that these people must be bored shitless. This is what they do all day? They they bid on skull necklaces and hyoi pairs? <laughs> Honestly, I thought she would go farther before stopping again. I guess that was my mistake. Very sneaky.
Wait, she go up? I lost her. <laughs> they deepened it. He's like an old surly cat now. Where'd she go? I lost her again. Wow, I'm bad at this. It's down this way, right? Yeah. Stop, thief! <laughs> All right, I won't. I know a thing or two about female thieves. Join me, you'd fit right in. She stole from the auction house. I didn't steal that pair. Honest. Alright, now how do I do this? Alright, so we've got two of the four auction items. We'll just have to pass a little bit more. I should have paid- I assume the first auction was the 5 rupee one. I didn't pay attention to the starting price. I saw the second one was the 40 rupee. I think they just rotate. I don't think it's random. Alright, 60 rupees. <sighs> oh, that's the 80 rupee item. It's really not worth 80 rupees, but I could just get it now in order to give it to the, the teacher. Just for something to do, so I don't have to come back later. So I need to raise it by 10%. want to do that it went up automatically I just wanted 100 someone outbid me please yeah I was just joking about the 200 rupees y'all have fun what if I go back in does it restart the auction Just confirm. Does he just end the auction when I leave and then just restart it again if I come back? Okay, nope. I okay. I didn't have to change nights. I could just keep exiting and re-entering. Alright, so all four of the items are garbage. Well, that's all that we can do on Windfall for now. Where else would be a good place to go? Uh... Huh? 
Paw print and dragon roost bo both have four things that I can do. Those are close by. Let's go there. Where's my boat? Where's my Where's my Ganon boat? Where's my super sloop? I've never heard sloop, John B. It's supposed to be one of the better. Oh, that's a face. Let's do that again. It's supposed to be one of the better Beach Boys songs. Alright, where are we going to? We are going to the east. One of the, uh... One of the very nice features of this randomizer, even over Wind Waker HD. Well, no, it is from Wind Waker HD. It's the, it's the swift sail. Except I think this one is, like, even faster. The wind is always behind you. And you move just pretty quick in general. Alright, so here's Pawprint Island. Pawprint Isle. Oh, you'll also see that I started with all of the, uh... With the entire sea chart filled out. That was an option. Up. Climb, little dwarf. So I don't have a sword. I don't think I can actually fight the things in here. Oh, that was a that was a good yell. However, there's some chests and items that I can get that are just they're sitting. I gotta stealth it. I gotta avoid the enemies. Ganondorf is very sneaky. Behind the boulder. I can't lift the boulder. Why does it think I can get those? Oh, because I have bombs. That's right. I forgot I had those. Oh, no, drop. Don't throw. I guess I do technically have a weapon. I don't really want to rely on bombs in combat. Because I have a finite number of them. Uh, great! I can spin my non-existent sword now. I keep... <sighs> I'm thinking of, like, uh, N64 controls. You just press A to drop it. Alright, so there should be one more thing in here. I'm already lost. I guess this... Yeah, this is the third chest. Has to be. Heart container. All right. Is it? It might require me to fight with bombs because it says there's a lookout platform that I can uh, I can do near here that I have to defeat enemies. Well, you know what? Uh, I forgot. You can uh, you can procure on site in this game. So I don't necessarily need a sword to fight enemies, depending on the on the environment. Where's that lookout platform? Oh, there's uh, there's those guys too. Can I get anything from them yet? Hey, just a friendly wizard looking to spelunk the seas. Do you have any advice for a brand new adventurer? Alright. Man, I'm getting so many rupees that I can't carry. Thus is, is the plight of Zelda. 
Goodbye. Salvage core. Get beetle shop item. All right, lookout platform. There it is. All right. Time for a scrap. I wish I could smack stuff with the sail. You can do it in Hyrule Warriors, why not here? Ow, no, I needed that. There we go. Give me your telescope. Ow! They're onto me. They know what I'm trying. I don't think I can get their telescopes. These ones don't drop stuff for me to wield. I could just use bombs, but I'm trying to conserve. There we go. What have you got? Alright. Useless. This one also does not feature randomizable music, sadly. Now, east to Dragon Roost. It's weird. I get that it's supposed to be a compass in the bottom left. I wish it would just... I wish it would just so show, like, north, south, east, and west, just which way you were facing. You know, better for the layman. Hey, Beetle, you got anything? Get up. Ah, heart piece. How much? If there's anything I've got, it's rupees. I don't have a bait bag. Good that I can buy bombs, because I might be relying on them for a little while. Shop item. Cross that off. Bye. Goodbye, Beetle. He was another character option that I could have play it, played as. Uh, I figured that, unlike Tingle, who is timeless, me and everybody watching would get tired of Beetle pretty much immediately. So there's the Wind Shrine. Give me an item. Don't make me do the thing, just give me the item! More wasted rupees. Alright, what else is there around here? Chest on top of boulder. Secret cave. This looks pretty secret. Oh. We get we we gotta do a combat cave. Was there supposed to be a texture there, or is it supposed to look like that? I think maybe technically I could do this. Oh, there's four rooms? 
I shouldn't be doing this with just bombs. Hey. Hey, assholes. Present for you. <laughs> oh, I got to use a bomb on the last one. I didn't even start with a full 30. Alright, what's the worst thing that could be in this cave? Oh, the enemies are like recolored. Idiots. Boy, it's a good thing that Ganondorf is so dang tough. Just stand in a bomb explosion, he's fine. Well, these guys, I can knock a weapon off of, at least. Give me it. Give me the weapon. Yeah! I'm armed! I need that. No! Ah! Yeah, die. By the power of Ganon. Can I bring this to the next room? I still need it. I think he drops it when I use a door. Yeah. Man. Alright, final challenge. I'm just slimes. Oops. Darn. I like how they made the model's nose bigger to account for it being Ganon. No, let me pick up the thing. I want the new item. Okay, I got it. Well, that wasn't too bad. I got a feather. Great. All that for a feather. And rupees that I can't carry. The important thing is that now we know. And you're right, knowledge is power. surface again. What else we got? Chest on top of boulder. And then the Rito mailman. Go ahead and uh, save on bombs some more, because why not? arrows for those, I believe. It's like they made some Ganon sound effects higher, and they made some Link sound effects lower in order to wake, make a, mere, a weird amalgamation of the two.
The sword would be great. The swords are progressive. So, the base sword, the master sword, and the first and second stages of the awakened master sword are all sequential sword items in the pool. So, there's four places in the game I could get a sword. Chest on top of boulder. Well, I guess I'll do the mail thing first, since I'm here. Maybe the boulder chest is up higher. Hey! I'm here to work! Is that it? I think I have to do it twice. There, I remember there being some weird way that the mailman works. I think how it works is I have to do that and then I have to help some guy who is here to work part-time get get the job and then I have to do it a second time for him I think that's the process chest on top of boulder I can't do any of this because I don't have medley or the leaf yet. Well, I guess I could swim over, but... I want to. I can only get three of the 15 items. You know what? We're here. Let's go get those three items. Wait, where's the entrance entrance? Again, lots of things just kind of already prepared for you in the randomized version. Out of necessity. This was already a more, like, story-driven game than the N64 ones. They managed to make it work for a randomizer. I think Twilight Princess is just too much so. First room has something. Another feature of the randomizer that is optional is a... Uh, there's some kind of warp chests or warp pots added to each dungeon that let, lets you uh, warp between dungeons. I'm not entirely sure why that's a thing, but it is a thing. A sword. I've got nothing for this. First room. Oh, I bet I get it for activating those. 
Ow. No, pick up the pot, Ganon! Whack. Whack. Eat it. Thankfully, that did not put out the stick. It wouldn't appear that anything will put out these sticks. Maybe they'll go out eventually. Ah. I also notice a lot of enemies and objects appear to be recolored. Alright. Dragon Roost Cavern, small key. I guess that kind of has to be there as long as key doors are enabled. I don't actually know if they can be disabled in this. Can't go in there. There's only a few things that I can get, so we're not going to spend too long in this dungeon. Just do a little sequence breaking. Don't mind me. Alcove with water jugs. That looks like a thing that might be here. Oh, I have to I have to bomb these because I don't have anything else. Ganondorf just eating all the damage. Boarded up chest is another small key. Which opens a couple other things. Just two more things in this dungeon. Oh, hello. Alcove with water jugs. Well, those aren't water jugs, so that's not that. Can I do anything in here? I don't know. Well... Yes, I can, because there are water jugs here, is why I can do things here. Oh, I'll bet that's the alcove. <laughs> alcove with water jugs. It's an all that just everything's keys. Uh oh, uh oh. Okay, no, it's fine. I thought it was already breaking. Well, where does this side of the room go? Am I going to reg regret going through here? I should get some hearts. Hearts would be good. Let's go ahead and open up that for the future. Full circle. Let's see. Rat room. Can't go over there yet. Thank you. Now, excuse me. I'm going to grab that rupee from you. Rat room boarded up chest. Well, I guess I can't do anything in here yet, but I need to do some things in order to, uh... Progress. Ah! Oh. Alright. 
I'll use a stupid bomb. You're all coming with me. Wait, that didn't get him? That wasn't enough for this guy. Come here. Come to my alcove. Come on. What? This guy's tough. He's taking all the hits. Oh, those aren't green ones. Those are red ones recolored green. I just caught that because they're dropping the uh, red goo. These awful sounding creatures. Hey, give me your stick. Where'd it go? Ah, fine. No, why camera no work? Is it because I'm in battle? Because I didn't kill the Moblin? Or the Bokoblin? Yeah, rock. I'm gonna get a feather. Wait, I already got a feather. This is a safe distance to be standing from lava. I could go further, but I have bombs, so it expects me to be able to get in here. And I think this is where the rat room... The rat room is just beyond this stack. Come on, get up. Enough the rats to take all my rupees. Rat room is more rupees. And there's also a, bird, a boarded up chest in here. Where's that at? There's that at. Well, how am I going to get that? Okay, I can't throw a pot that far. However, I have sticks. I have green, lush, green, vegetative Deku sticks. Get out of here, rats. I think chests update to show what's in them, if it's a good item or not. Dragon Roost Cavern Compass. See, that was not a good item chest. So I could technically go through that door, but there's no benefit yet, so I just, I won't. Well, maybe there is. Maybe the bird's nest is through there. I don't remember. The bird's nest is the last item that it says that I can presently get with my current items. Unfortunately, I think I do have to go back to the start of the dungeon. I can't just j jump down into the sea. As convenient as that would be. Okay, okay, okay. yeah, I did need to go here. This is the bird's nest. Watch this be another key so that I can progress even further. Through this dungeon with no short, no sword, no swing shot. I have the boss key. All right. Well, I'll be able to finish this dungeon once I have a sword and a swing shot, or whatever it is. Grappling hook, that's what it's called. See, I can see the sea. It is directly beneath us. However, well, I can jump down to there at least. To a lower part of the dungeon. Ah! <laughs> 
No! Oh! Oh, that's gonna put me up at the top where I came into the area. That's all right. Jumping down is easy enough. <gasps> I say, and then... It's not a good angle, this jump. But boy, do I not want to go back the normal way. All right, we can do this. We got this. We're Ganon. <laughs> you know what I'll do? I'm gonna enter this door to reset my location. There's not a pot in here, is there? Boy, a, a warp pot would be nice. I could also sidle. I just, I didn't want to. Sidling is, is, is stupid. See? That's what sidling gets you. <laughs> and it felt the need to take a heart off me halfway down, too. Alright, you dumb bird. I'm just gonna jump it. Oh, I'm sure I could make that. gonna do it. I'm not gonna- I, I have to do it now, as a matter of principle. <sighs> okay, maybe I can't. I'm now down to one heart. I'll bet it's possible. But... I'll stop trying. Oh man, really? Drop a heart. No? Alright. It's a normal day for young Ganon. It was a bold of Nintendo to take inspiration from the likes of Young Conquer. Boy, that's a game that fans just don't want to uh, acknowledge existing within the the lore for a series, right? There are some games that are just so reviled that uh, no one considers them really a part of the series. Boy, this sure doesn't make a lot of sense, me playing as Ganon and Bokoblins attacking me. I can also scoop up water, I guess, but is it useful for anything in this game? Besides rehydrating these bomb flowers, I don't remember ever using water for anything else. Alright, so I still don't know where the chest on top of Boulder is. That's a mystery. And I still need to do the, uh, the part-time mailman. Still find it funny that Zelda's voice actress from the CDI games wishes she could voice Zelda in an official game. I wouldn't mind. 
you know, it's really easy to blame uh, voice actors for, uh, y you can have great voice actors and still get really bad results with bad direction. I have no idea if she's a great voice actor, but for the purposes of a Zelda game, she could do it, probably. Hello. Yes, I, I, I know that person, I think. Oh, this is like uh, after you've in in like the storyline transported Medley and Makar to uh, the temples. I get well, no, it's not because you can do the temples in any order. Makar is simultaneously trapped in the Forbidden Forest and also waiting for you in the uh, what is it, the Wind Temple. Okay, so chest on top of boulder. Let's go looking around the island. Maybe, maybe we just need a ship's point of view. We might also need to come back in order for the uh, male guy to spawn. Because that's where he would be, up by the mailbox, I believe. Chest on top of boulder. It can't be on any of those because I don't have the leaf yet. I don't think I can get to them without it. Oh, that? How am I gonna get that? I don't have, uh... I don't have any projectiles. That's clearly the chest on top of the boulder, but... Yeah, I don't know why it thinks that I can get that. Unless I'm missing something obvious. I guess I'll, uh... What do I have? I have the spoils bag. I don't have the bait bag, so I can't use, like, a, a hyoi pear to suicide seagull into it. I'll leave, I'll come back, I'll see if the male guy's here. Otherwise, I, I might just, like, leave these last things for later. Go to another map tile for a moment. Where is this? This north? What can I do? There's a couple things I can do up here. Center and northern lookout platform. Can't do southern for some reason. I should buy some more bombs. That's what I should do. They don't blow up on impact in this one. Which is not great. I kind of need them to. If I'm going to be using them as weapons. Center lookout platform, 200 rupees. Where are you? Man, get over here!
I need to start the bomb before he appears. Now, why does it say I can't get the third one? It's just enemies too tough? Is that what it thinks? I can't take two of them at once? Oh, that one's way out over the water. Maybe he just won't come closer. Yeah, he just stays out there. I guess that's why I can't get him. I had a piece of heart. Well, it's full health. I needed that. Hey, come closer. I had one shot, I could have gotten him, with really good timing. Fortunately, the randomizer doesn't expect me to do that in logic, I'll just, I'll come back for him in the future. Alright, so this is facing north, I want to go south again. God damn it! I like the purple fire, though. That's a cool effect. Alright, Beetle. I need your bombs. I guess I could buy bait as well. I won't be able to access it, but it'll be in my bait bag. Oh no, he won't let me buy it. I just, I need something to spend rupees on, honestly. Alright, there's my boat. Is the male guy there yet? I don't, it doesn't look like he is. No. All right, well, I guess I have forgotten the requirements for uh, spawning the male help guy. I'll just, I'll come back and do it later if I need to. That's fine. Let's see, where else can we go? Is it time to start going all over the Great Sea yet? I go to Outset, as good a place to start as any. Haven't been there yet. Visit dear old grandma. Ninrova. I can't do anything in any of the dungeons yet. Wow, I really got... Oh, it's three keys. I thought it was five keys for the uh, dragon roost. Probably mention this every time I play this game, but... Uh, what a bold move to have the game's first dungeon be lava-themed. Alright, what can we do on outset? Underneath Link's house. And then there's the grass cutter's house. I remember those two. And I guess we can go to Jab- Oh, because we have bombs, we can go to Jaboon's cave. Immediately. I wonder if it will show the Hylian or the English text. Probably, probably Hylian because this isn't technically New Game Plus. Alright, treasure chart, youth, useless.
I find a fairy, I can save Grandma. Alright, Mr. Grasscutter. Imagine the sadists. The masochists, even, who include uh, Orca's 500 swing item in the item pool. I think that's disabled on all settings because the randomizer creators know better. It would be nice to be able to set them item by item, like you can in the uh, Majora. And I think the Ocarina ones. I know you can do that in Majora. Forgetting something? Oh. Look how mad he is. Okay, well, I got. Well, we can give that to uh, Miss Mari now. Miss Marie. I have no idea what any of the choo-choos are. I just know the red ones are green. <laughs> Having bombs actually opens up quite a few things. Several of the uh, lookout platforms have items for uh, blowing up their cannons. Oh, that's right. And the randomizer Jaboon is no longer here. In his place, a simple raft with a good item on it. What are you? It's a Boko Baba seed. Why was that? Okay. I guess that's just what a chest containing spoils looks like. That is way too ornate a chest for an item like that. Horseshoe Island to the west. Now is the point where we start going island to island. And uh, gonna be a lot of lookout platforms, given that our main utility is currently bombs. It's about the only thing that we have so far. Bombs and iron boots, but uh, those aren't that useful, generally speaking. So I think the only thing we can get here is not on the island itself, but on these two lookout platforms. Oh, 
I'm, I'm gonna get knocked off by the birds, aren't I? Let me up, birds. Oh, each button activates the opposite chest. I see, I get the picture. Ooh, I need that, that's bombs. leave me alone until I attack them. These guys are aggro. Alright, now I get a chance to deal with the birds. Come here, bird. Ah! It is pretty satisfying to beat the tar out of enemies with just, like, sticks and pots. Now, hopefully, they don't respawn. So, on many of the other lookout platforms, I have to destroy these cannons in order to make a chest appear. Not on these ones. These ones I just have to hit buttons for. Uh, okay. Well, that was probably the biggest rupee waste in the game. Got a rainbow rupee. Never getting that again. Alright. I push the button. See y'all later. Where's the ladder? There it is. It's going to be a slow process of scouring the Great Sea. However, it is a randomizer is nice insofar as it uh, it does give purpose to all these chests that are just like garbage in the vanilla game. You would have never have any reason to go to half of these places if not for a randomizer. They tried to make rupees matter by having you know, Tingle charge you out the ass, but even then, you're not gonna go all over the Great Sea getting all these little 20 rupee rewards. You're gonna find whatever is the best farmable method and just do that for an hour. I hope exploration is more meaningful in Breath of the Wild. I understand there's like uh, a variety of weapons and outfits you can find or craft or something. Can't do anything here yet. I got one more island. Where am I going? I'm going to Two Eye Reef. Now, am I going to the island, or... No, I'm going to the lookout platform. And there's a big Octo Great Fairy. The... Does it want me to fight the big Octo with bombs? Boy, that would be a... That would be a task to expect. It's technically possible, but... Boy, I don't really want to do that.
Leave me alone, bird. Ah! It's like the Gwei at Lake Hylia. Okay, here we go. What's up here? Anything? Boy, you all look like you're having fun. Let me just uh, sneak, pa sneak past you. All right, power bracelets. Those were in a rather inornate looking chest. Great. Well, I'm glad I came. Good seeing you, as always. Hope you all have a great day. I don't have the chart for big octos. I guess I could just, like, look around. I could make an attempt. I got, I got a full 30 bombs. What part of the map is it probably on? I think it's in the southwest part. Oh yeah, you can see because that's where all the uh, that's where all the birds are. Bombs are the most effective weapon in that it only takes one shot per eye. I thought this was the one with, the, like, a billion eyes. I guess not. No, I think the, the one, the hardest one, the one with the most eyes, has a piece of the Triforce chart. This is the one, this is the one with a great fairy. Hello, fairy. And what is your power? A small portion of your power is the power of cash. 200 rupees is a small portion. She must be loaded. All right, well, further eastward we go. I'm just kind of gonna, I'm gonna be like crisscrossing the map, stopping at islands where I can do stuff. I think next is a uh, Minecraft Island. It's not much of a puzzle, this island, but, uh... I guess it might have given some, uh, small children a little bit of trouble. No, grab the thing, Ganon. There we go. Is that a spoils chest? treasure chart. Alright. So that's what the garbage chests look like, I guess. Also, uh, blue choo-choos are now magenta, it would seem. Next is the boating course. Not actually doing the course, but uh, there's a raft nearby. Gonna guess in the bottom right area of the map. Usually, if there's multiple points of interest on a tile, they're uh, separate from one another. Yeah, there's the rafts. 
surrounded by sea hats. Which one has a thing on it? It's that one. Hello, don't mind me. Just gonna take this. Another treasure chart, great. I guess I could get a joy pendant while I'm here. Oh, it went in the water. All right, let's get out of here. Hello, octopus fella. Oh no! That's another thing, is that if you hit something while you're moving with the fast sail in this game, your boat just goes way into the distance. It goes flying. Alright, and then this bottom corner tile has a few things. A few little things. Like a lookout tower. Oh, the ghost ship is here. Unfortunately, I do not have the ghost ship chart, so uh, I can't do anything with that. The ghost ship chart does not simply let you know where the ghost ship is, it actually lets you access it. If you don't have it, you'll just, like, phase through. So this is one of the ones where you have to uh, destroy the cannons in order to get the item. Ah! Whoa, he smashed it! He's an aggressive little dude. How did that angle happen? Alright, where's the cannons at? There's one. Ah! Man! I'll learn. Eventually, I'll learn it's the R button. You would, in order to find this stuff without a guide, you would just have to do everything on every platform. Oh, hey, we got the shield. That's something. I think that's a recently added option to start the game without the shield. Wait, I'm sorry, is it a, a pan? A pan lid? Also, I can't use it without the sword. What a weird-looking shield. All right, what else is there? There's a raft and a submarine around here. There's a submarine surrounded by rafts. Which raft has the thing? I remember this being the place that I came to uh, farm joy pendants. When I needed them for uh, Miss Mari. Hopefully, we won't have to resort to that. Would be nice not to have to do any kind of uh, farming in this run. Alright, now what's the submarine got for us? I'm gonna have to do some fighting in here. Only 14 bombs, not a full supply. Okay, there, there's enemies with weapons I can procure. <sighs> no, don't target the bats. I need to target these guys. There we go. Where's the stick? Give me a stick. I am armed. Yeah. 
Oh, if I can get these guys, I can get a better weapon even. I assume a sword is better than a stick, but what do I know? I don't know where the other stick went. How come he he doesn't drop his like sword sword? How come he can hold on to a, a he can hold on to that but not a stick? Hmm. All right, submarine. What are you? Junk. Looks like a junk chest. Yeah, it's junk. Arts aren't useless. This game is at least potentially more difficult than the uh, 64 games. Especially with the uh, randomizer shortcomings. Or the, the limitations, the handicaps of, say, not having a sword, for example. Hmm. Alright, up north is Cliff Plateau Isles. Didn't even lose any bombs from that. Where there is a cave and a lookout platform. Where's a cave at? How would I... I don't have the bait bag, so it can't expect me to do anything with the hyoi... Oh, that's still... These aren't the cliff plateaus. Even though they look like cliff plateaus. There we go. There's a lookout platform and there's a cave. I like to think that if it's down to Ganon to save the land, then the monsters attacking must be super evil. Like, as threatening as Ganon is, the king of evil, immortal god of darkness or whatever, his minions are kind of a joke. They're just kind of goofy pig-looking dudes. And little pathetic goblins. And that's kind of it. Uh, his only kind of scary followers are, I guess, like uh, Stalfos and. Uh, oh, Stalfos, Redeads, Iron Knuckles, slash Dark Nuts. His main force, Moblins, are just mooks. Get up. Hmm. Ganon, please climb. Alright, where's the cave? Hmm. Over here? Oh, this is the this is the cave with like a whole sequence of things to do inside. I think there's like platforming in here. Which I guess I can do without, like, a leaf or anything. I, I can do basic platforming, sure. I don't need any of their sticks. So there's the chest. Oh, it doesn't even hurt them. Okay. 
Okay. Oh! Oh, they eat you! I didn't know that. Wait, how am I gonna... Oh, these... Fighting these guys with just bombs is tough. I think what I have to do is I have to stun them and then finish them with this. No? I don't get it. Maybe there's some sticks around or something I can use? Look how much more interesting this is than when you have a sword and the solution is just press B until it dies. I can't light these on fire, can I? No? Oh, that does work. Okay, I guess I was just missing. Well, let me try the bomb strategy again. If I can just get a stick. I only need to beat one of them this way, in theory. No! I don't know if those will work for the second hit, is the thing. But they have to be able to, or else it wouldn't expect me to be able to do this yet. It's possible I'm just missing. What if I can lure it into eating a bomb? That won't work, will it? Yeah, I don't know how it wants me to beat these guys. I don't think I have the requisite knowledge for this. What if they eat me while I have the iron boots on? No, that's stupid. Right? Yeah, that is stupid. Alright. Yeah, I don't know. Because I need to beat one of them in order to have the thing to, uh, be able to fling myself to the treasure chest, I believe. So I guess I'll come back to this at a future time, when I have more than, like, nothing to fight them with. It is possible that I have to do that next, but it's not likely. All right, where's my boat? Boat. I can't even, like, cut grass for health. I could blow up grass for health. Using my one bomb. Let's hope this gives me something good. Either health or more bombs. Nothing. I now have one heart and no bombs. Great. Alright, where are we going? We're going east. I'm oh, sorry, west. To Southern Fairy Island. Smack in the middle of the map.
Hello, Forest Haven. Not doing you for a while. Hope I'm not doing you ever. That's a lot to hope for. Man, I already didn't like Dungeons and Zelda games, and they just seem to get worse with every generation of Zelda. They were so long in this one, and Twilights are, like, even longer. Oh, I think I need bombs in order to get to the Great Fairy on this next island. Maybe. Maybe I don't. I do have the I do have the bracelets. Come on, don't be bombs. Can I roll for grass in this one? Oh, I can't. They removed that. They added it in Majora and then they removed it for this. Man! I gotta go buy bombs before I can do this. Are there any inhabited islands nearby? Southern Triangle Island. Not really. I'm the closest is Outset. I'm kind of in the middle of nowhere. Well, you know what? I need to I need to go to Outset anyway. So uh, I guess we're going back there. It's a weird notation system in this game. You press down for a higher note. Wait, no, I was trying to go to Outset. Oh, that's the Song of Passing. I'm dumb. Wait, why isn't this working? Oh, I can come straight back there. That's that's convenient. All right, I'll buy bombs and I'll come right back. The warp locations in this game are so arbitrary. Like, why is that one of them? Southern Fairy Island. It's in the middle of nowhere. If I'm just relying on bombs, it would be great to have the capacity upgrades. I haven't gotten either of those. Alright, back we go. With one health. Actually, that's fine. The fairy, the fairy will heal us. Fairies do that, right? Great fairy. Give me something good. Pretty please? <laughs> she's laughing. She's laughing because she's going to give me something awful. Like a green rupee. Or a baba seed. Or a skull necklace. That's a heart piece. All right. 
was better than what I was expecting. You know what? Give me one of them fairies. The great- these great fairies, they help you out, and then they don't really complain when you... You know, capture one of their- their kind in a bottle. Against their will. Obviously- let's just look at that model. Obviously, they don't want to be in there. Alright, where are we going? We're going west. We are on our second zig. Soon to zag. That Octorok, that Octorok is now having a bad day. Random beetle shop, middle of nowhere. The render distance in this game is impressive for the GameCube. Could be better. Be nice if emulation were able to improve it. I don't know if it can or not. <clears throat> I don't know how extensive uh, mods get for GameCube games. I recently bought uh, One Piece Pirate Warriors 3 because it was on, like, an 85% off sale on Steam. And after buying it, I know why it was 85% off. Apparently the, uh... Oh, hey, wait, hey, we got a sword! That opens up a ton of stuff, I think, probably. Let me click the thing and find out. No, it didn't really open much. It opened the uh, the Master Sword Chamber in Hyrule, because we're going to be there sometime soon. Sarcasm. Alright, where are we going next? I think we want to go north to Islet of Steel. Anyway, I found out that the uh, Dynasty War, the Warriors series devs, apparently don't bother, like, actually porting their games to PC. They just kind of take the PlayStation version and slap it on Steam and call it a day, because it does not support X input, which is the type of controller that, like, everyone on a PC uses, so... It basically does not have controller support. There are, like, community workarounds, but they're very, very shoddy. I spent, like, two hours troubleshooting trying to get it to work. It's still, like, super inconsistent and buggy. I'm considering buying an old-fashioned controller just to see if it'll work with that. Given that it does not work with modern controllers. Otherwise, it's just, you know, waste of ten bucks. What do you got for me, Islet of Steel? This was originally, I believe, a Triforce chart. Oh, hey, that's where the letter went. 
I can't do anything with it since I don't have the mailbag, but uh, it will be in the mailbag when I acquire it. So let's check out this sword. What is it? Oh, it's like a it's like a a desert cutlass. That looks cool. And I guess he's got uh, it's like a, a Gerudo esque buckler. I haven't played Breath of the Wild, so I don't know how much... I know Gerudo culture is expanded upon significantly in that game. I don't know if these are items you might see in Breath of the Wild or what. There's also a mirror shield in this game, and there's more... several more stages of swords, so it's possible we'll get even more models custom to Ganon. Alright, there's Maggie's letter. What's next? Stonewatcher Island, where we can get everything there. Now that we have the power bracelets, we're not doing bad, actually. Especially now that we have the sword and can actually fight. We've gotten a number of uh, progression items. We still need to find the pearls in order to access the Tower of the Gods. I believe. Well, the Tower of the Gods... I think is optional? Really, we just need the light... The, the victory items are the light arrows and the fully awakened master sword. That's that's the things that we need in order to defeat, you know, our older, more evil self and clear the game. Oh boy, here we go. Immediately going to test our sword in combat. Oh... Oh, okay. So by the time you fight these guys, I guess you must have an upgraded sword because they, even their weak spot takes more than one hit with the weakest sword. It's actually pretty annoying having to take multiple hits. It also didn't explode properly? What was that about? Hey, come here. Oh, that didn't get him? Well, it's just rupees, actually. There's no useful, like, spoils from them. There we go. I wonder how many enemies you encounter- you only encounter after having an upgraded sword. Because I've never seen them have to take more than one hit before. Oh boy, here we go. Yeah, give me that. I want that spear. Get, pick it up! Come on, attack. Alright, now pick it up this time. Please. Yeah! There we go.
them hearts. These things are very useful on randomizer, except if you're in a tight space, you just like hit the wall and you can't swing them at all. Wait, where else we got? We got two more rooms. I hope there's not a dark nut in one of these. Choo-choos? Oh, it's these guys. Oh, they're like... I like this. They look like, uh, they look like Yzma. Or like, uh, Kingdom Hearts enemies. They already kind of look like Kingdom Hearts enemies. But even more so when they're all black and purple like this. I don't know why I did that. I can't hit them up there, can I? No, I can't. I could stand in place with a bomb and theoretically get him. But I'm cool waiting for him to come to the ground. so much less interesting now that I have a sword. Like, why would I ever use anything but the sword? I didn't need to pick these up. It's just for the novelty now. Alright. Oh, there are iron knuckles. Is there two of them? Oh, you want me to fight two Iron Knuckles with the Kikiri Sword? Or whatever the starting one is? Ow. Oh, that hurt. Ow! Pliss! Armor off. Here we go. All right, they are de-armored. Give me that sword. I need a better weapon. Slice! Doria! I can't break the pillars with this, can I? I cannot. Well, no, I can! Idiot. Gather up these for later. Don't know if I'll need them, but can't hurt. I think there is an item with Orca for having so many. Yeah, the, you get the hero spin by bringing him the uh, Knight's Crests. Alright, give me my blue rupee. Even worse. So far we've done two of these and they've both been junk, right? Alright, what else is there? There's a lookout platform. Is that the one? Am I looking at it? I think that's the one. Hmm. 
This one has two items. Oh, that's a lot of cannons. Good thing I have a lot of bombs. I also hate how enemies are invulnerable when they're on the ground. It really disrupts the flow of combat. Alright, another treasure chart. What a dumb place to put a cannon. Why would you ever install it there? It can't ever fire. Still don't have anything we can use magic on. Well, we have the we have the hero spin. Let's see, Bomb Island. Oh, that's a ways. What's that near? That's near Forest Haven. We can warp a little bit. I guess there's not really a sound font for this guy. I mean, there is. I think the soundtrack was created using a, you know, like a kind of sound font. For the most part. The Great Sea theme is orchestral, but uh, a lot of the rest of the music is just kind of, uh, not. But I don't think it uses a, uh, it's not like MIDI. The GameCube is not uh, playing samples or anything. They're all just like, uh, they're wave sound, so. Any randomized music would have to be also in, like, full sound format. Which would mean, in theory, you could have whatever music you want. Would just increase the size of the uh, the game file. Ah, uh, this is this is this area. All right, come here. Ow. They're like solid black. No, go on the button. It, it just woke up. No! Ah! All right, 
Alright, what are we doing? We got holes. <gasps> Ganon, why you jump? You know what I haven't done? Save. That seems like a good thing to do. Let's do that. I don't like this room. It's a bit annoying, that. No, I need you alive and in ball form. I gotta get both of them at once, like, in quick succession? Come here. Come this way. God damn it. Where's the other one? No! Ah! Well, okay, they'll stay there once I get them in, I guess. So that's good. I thought I had to get them both in, like, quick succession. Which would have been unmanageable. Man, the camera controls being tied to the Z target button is also pretty terrible. Not that that's different from the 64 games, but you have to be right there. This sucks. I've never had this much pro this much trouble with this room before. Like I could kill one of them just to buy a little time, but it just respawn in a second or two. <sighs> all right, what did I just do all that for? How much time did I waste? Great. There's also a lookout platform and a submarine here. What's out there? There's nothing? Just pots. Alright. Where's my boat at?
There's the submarine. Another skull necklace. I'm kind of, I'm kind of running out of commentary. I might, I might stop soon. See if I can get to another uh, major island at the very least. Uh, I saw the submarine. Where did it go? I think it was like to the north, straight northish. There it is. Is there some magic involved in Zelda's submarine technology? Like, are we even going to question the fact that this vague medieval fantasy setting has workable submarines? Oh, alright, Hero's Charm. Oh, what, it, what is, is that remodeled? What does that look like? Oh, it's his crown! Is King Ganon. <laughs> All right, that's everything on Bomb Island. Where else can we go? Thorn Fairy Island, Six Eye Reef, Cyclops Reef. Technically, there's the, uh... Technically, there's the, the Master Sword Chamber we can go to. I think we can go there now. I don't think we need the, uh, the pearls or anything to do that. What is that Thorn Fairy Island? Northeastern Lookout Platform. Boy, we don't have to worry about, uh, about buying bait, getting all those fish. That's nice. The map already filled out. I wonder why we can't do the other platform. Maybe it requires the, uh, the leaf. Grappling hook would open up quite a few things. The leaf. Okay, bye, bomb. Off the top of my head, the bow and the leaf would probably open up the most things right now. According to Keikaku. Alright, another treasure chart. Ooh, 
Let's go to Hyrule. We can finish the stream there. That'll be a thematic ending. There's a Tower of the Gods warp, isn't there? Yeah, there is. There's no tower yet, but I don't think. I think you need all three pearls to make the tower appear. Yeah, the tower's not here yet. However, the uh, warp to Hyrule is. We can just, we can just go down whenever we feel like it. at it. It's beautiful. I just want the world to not be flooded anymore. Oh, hello. Y'all having a good day? Don't mind me. I'm just gonna sneaky sneaky. Well, I don't even have to do the block puzzle. see if I am worthy of the Master Sword. Hello! Hiya to you! Wait, no, I do want to continue playing. Okay, good. How come they don't take damage from fire? That's not fair. Ow. I do have a fairy. Oh, he's faster without the armor. I believe technically... Ow. I believe technically you can fight these guys with just the uh, the hammer. It's very it's a weird precise hitbox though. I think a previous randomizer run I did expected me to do that. Ow! Oh, I could still die. I gotta use these things because. Uh, I just want to, like, slice them in the groin and have them go down. Alright, get away from the fire. He doesn't want to do the roll. He just keeps doing the jump attack. There he goes. Ow! Oh, God. Please go down. Ah, there we go. A little more challenging than the 64 games. Just a bit. Probably helps not to be using the... I, well, I guess I would be fighting them with the most basic sword, because this is where you get the Master Sword. I'd also have, like, 
the bow and things at my disposal, which I don't, but... Oh, hey, great! All right. The Master Sword is now a leaf, and you know what? I'm just peachy with that. The leaf is probably the best item we could have gotten. Again, that or the bow. All right, what did that open? It opened a few things. It went from 25 to uh, 44 locations accessible. That's quite a, that's quite a, a jump. All right, well, let me save once more. We will uh, know where we were at when we resume next time. But, uh... I think that's a good stopping point for today. Little Ganondorf got the, uh, the Master Leaf. We got a good number of items. We got the sword first stream. We could have done a lot worse than this. And, uh, I guess we'll just resume scouring the Great Sea next time. I don't know when next time will be. I will probably stream something with Jack tomorrow, depending on how he's feeling. Uh... I haven't been able to do a lot of solo streams lately, but the next one I do will probably be continuing this, because I like to get through randomizers fairly promptly. That's it for today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you next time.